This next guy might be able to identify a quarterback that he really wants. Uh, plays on his team right now. It's Nathaniel Hackett. Yeah, one of the hottest names on the market right now, and a front uh, one of the front runners for the Broncos job. The Broncos did officially put that interview in for him, and he is a guy that has not only had success with Aaron Rodgers, which. Okay, I give him, you know, a golf clap for that. But what he did in Jacksonville, which we discovered a couple of weeks ago, is even more impressive. Leading a top five offense with Blake Bortles and really playing to that team's strengths was really impressive. That could do really, really well for Javante Williams moving forward if Nathaniel Hackett is the guy. But then to get past just the football, Nathaniel Hackett, talk about energy. He is a guy that brings so much energy and passion, and he's a guy we, we've read some articles mm. about how he's able to cater to every single person and know exactly how to lead mm, an offensive lineman, know how to lead a quarterback. And right now it seems a pretty difficult task to lead Aaron Rodgers, yet I believe Nikki Javala had an article that said That's... he would be a fantastic head coach. He does not want to lose him because he'd be a fantastic head coach. And, man, if you're able to sign off and get Aaron Rodgers' approval, it really means that you're able to cater to every single type of person and then of course he does have the Aaron Rodgers connection but I'm going to stay by this you cannot hire him with the expectation of getting Aaron Rodgers if that's the reason you're hiring him you need to hire someone else yeah and I think that's the thing like the question is can he ID a quarterback because he inherited Blake Bortles now in Buffalo he was the OC when they drafted EJ Manuel and that was a swing and a miss but that was a, that was okay we have to take a swing in a really bad quarterback yep. class I don't want to kind of use that again against him I do recommend if you if, if you can read the Nikki Shavala article in the Washington Post on Nathaniel Hackett Friend of because the program. It, it dives it really dives into how different he is how creative he is in meetings in terms of explaining concepts working in cultural references really connecting with his with his players getting onto their level and the way he manages individuals Frankly, it's Bill Parcells-esque. He's the gold standard of managing to the individual personality and psychology of players, understanding that you can't have a one-size-fits-all approach to player management, and that's something that Nathaniel Hackett really understands, a great deal of emotional intelligence that Hackett possesses. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to get past the Rodgers connection as the most exciting thing about him. But I think if you read that article, you can mm -hmm. get excited about other things about him. Right now, he's the Rodgers guy, and he's a lot more than that. So, I, yeah, I do encourage everyone to uh, check out the Nikki article. And this is a guy who could really, really be exciting regardless of the quarterback. And then, hey, if you get Aaron Rodgers, well, it uh, doesn't matter what he does. He's going to look great. Exactly. He's going to have to identify other quarterbacks and a knock against not just him, but we have to put this in there. Jordan Love, he was part of uh, drafting him. And then on top of that, developing him. Jordan Love has looked really bad so far. It does not look like he's developed at all. That I don't want to put it all on him, but that's something that you have to acknowledge as well. Jordan Love could be a total bust because of him, or the coaching couldn't have helped out as well. But if we're going to give credit for a coach developing a guy, we also have to look at, at guys who didn't develop guys. Yeah, and who knows really how it's much. It's something out there, though. You have to take that into account. How much? He hasn't played enough to really get a read, in my opinion. I think the Packers would have moved on from Aaron Rodgers if they loved him. All right, yeah, you passed the buzzer here. We passed the buzzer. Here, we 